In this video, we're going to be going over a full seller amp tutorial talking about pricing, how to use it, the different features, what business models it's used for, and a ton of features you probably haven't seen before on that. So if you haven't already, make sure to check out a free trial of seller amp down in the description. And if you're brand new to my channel, welcome. My name is Miles, 24-year-old full-time seven-figure online arbitrage seller as well as co-owner of seller amp SAS. So stick around through the entire video and see all the features, pricing, how it's used, some different stuff you probably haven't seen before, and let's get right right into it. We're going to start here on the SellerAmp website. SellerAmp is actually three tools in one. So there's not just the Chrome extension, which what we'll be focusing on in this video. There's also a mobile app as well as the web apps. There's a whole bunch of different stuff going on. And while we'll be focusing on the Chrome extension, if you're doing retail arbitrage or want to get more in depth on stuff, there's also the web app and mobile app, which you can take a look at on all that. So we're going to talk about all these features as well. In terms of pricing within SellerAmp, so you can try completely for free. On, uh, on that, but if we look at the USD pricing and on the monthly, so if you want to do it annually, it's $14 a month or the getting serious plan, which is over a thousand scans a month on stuff. So if you want to do over a thousand scans, which if you're watching this video, you're probably pretty serious about it. It might make sense to do the getting serious version on, uh, on all that. If you want to go monthly, it's $17 a month and about $23 a month for the upgraded version on, uh, on that. Going to the settings on the website, so once you actually have an account, there's a couple important things you want to do in your SellerAmp backend. So this is selleramp.com and then go to settings once you log in. On that, the big things are adding in your minimum and maximum BSRs on that, which don't matter too much more on the percentage. You guys can feel free to just copy mine. Your minimum ROI, which isn't super important as well, but you probably want to have in there as 25, 30, 35%. On that, uh, but this is important right here, the pre the MISC fee and the inbound shipping. I like to estimate my inbound shipping at about 30 cents per pound on that, so that's what I have right in there, as well as your MISC fee, which is probably gonna be your sales tax on that, which or could be your prep center cost uh, on that, which would be your per unit cost or your percentage-based prep center cost, for example. So me sending to, uh, to Pennsylvania for toys and stuff like that, I think is around seven, six percent on uh, and that and everything. So I can go ahead and add that in. And then all the items we look at in here are prop calculators actually going to factor that in. So you definitely want to do that. And that's a mistake a lot of people make in not doing that on here. There's some other features as well we're not going to touch on in terms of these, like that settings if you're in the UK, stuff like that and everything. But in terms of that, we'll go ahead and hit save on this guy. And then we will hop over to an item right here. There. Okay, so looking at here, we can see a full walkthrough of the Seller Amp Chrome extension right here on that. So it's over here on the right. A lot of people don't know you can actually go ahead and move it as uh, as needed right here. So we can make it like really big right here, which is actually a lot better for content, to be honest, on, uh, on that. I'm going to pop it back up right here, make it a little small right there, pop it right here. I like it big there, so let's do it right there. Okay, here we go. Okay, so this first setting up right here is the prop calculator. So this is very important. This is the most important feature right here, which shows the BSR, the estimated sales, the max cost based on your desired ROI. So we can put it in, we do $8.50 right here. We can see it's just about a 26% ROI right there. But then if we do like a $6 buy cost, then we're making 80% on that. So that's important, the max cost um, in respect to the sale price, which typically is just matching the buy box with the lowest FBA. On that, BSR is obviously very important. We can see the ASIN, the UPC, and the EAN. The UPC is pretty important in terms of Googling it if it doesn't show up perfectly. On that, if you hover over here, you can see the dimensions of an item right here. You can see kind of the description of it as well. If you want to do here, which is uh, fairly irrelevant um, in terms of this one <laughs> right here, it's more relevant when you're in the storefront. And then in terms of actually going out and looking for this item right here, you can click the Google button and it pulls up right here. Google, we can head over to Google Shopping and see if we can find a match for this item right here. So this is right here, 1.7 ounce, 1.7 ounce right here. So we can see this might, see, it seems like we'll match right there, right here. Yes, 27 definitely wouldn't work on that. So not seeing a super match on that, but that's how it's done in terms of going out and looking for an item right there. Scrolling down to here, we can see ranks and prices, which shows some more intimate details of the item as in the buy box price, whether Amazon's on it, the low FBA sellers, the low FBM sellers, the BSR drops, which is a really helpful stat, as well as the estimated sales, which is based on the sales rank. I'm not a huge fan of estimated sales, being that it is based off the sales rank and the sales rank changes all the time on that item, but some people really like estimated sales, so I typically try to stay above a couple hundred a month estimated sales on a on that, the estimated time to sell is nice too, in terms of uh, estimating if we are priced at here, how long it would take to sell, which is great. 
alerts very important when you get logged into seller central you can see whether you're ungated in it uh amazon's share of the buy box or whether amazon shares the buy box whether it's private label it's also important to note that the brand is much more important in terms of whether it's private label private label is is uh three or more fba sellers on it right there um or three or less to like basically two two sellers typically on it um will most likely be privately however it's a big brand you don't have to worry about and you can see over time whether it's been that because it's automatically going to trigger private label if it's under that on there standard size and multiples very important as well as well as stuff with variations on that in terms of charts we can see keep up right here we can go to the the day the week the month three months year all time right here in terms of taking a look at the keepers which is really helpful on that just within seller amp and all the pricing action right here i would recommend having a keep a subscription as well in terms of looking at buy box statistics offers stuff like that however you can get some of the more the more basic data right here from that in terms of the year-long chart we can see the offer count last year was 52 around this week and right now it's all the way down to 16. naturally the price is a lot higher but amazon's also on it right there prof calculator a little bit more in depth it's important to take a look down here because we can see we can switch it up and go to fbm fulfillment and estimate fbm shipping cost right here add that in and say we pay five bucks for fbm shipping cost we make about 65 percent roi on all that as well as small and light you can see if an item is the changing the calculator in terms of small and light right there which is great you can see a total fee breakdown as well um Another important feature a lot of people don't take advantage of right here is Google Sheets, actually. So what the Google Sheets is, so as you're sourcing, you might see different opportunities in terms of something that's not quite good, or maybe it's a good item for Q4, but it's July right now or something like that. And you want to save that item for later or just organize it or have your virtual assistants organize it really well on that. I'm a big fan of the Google Sheets integration with Inceleramp. So you can set up your Google Sheets just through the website like we looked at earlier and just click export. So seasonal example right here. And we can export that over and then it hops right over here to this screenshot. And you can see I tested it this morning as well as just hopping in here and you can pull specific data in terms of profit, ROI, rank, Amazon link, ASIN, name, a whole bunch of different stuff like that, which is really helpful right there in terms of organizing your listing. So I definitely recommend having like a buy sheet, a check-in future, maybe seasonal ones. I have some different holiday ones as well as you could do, you know, shared sheets with friends and stuff as well as having virtual assistants source items right there as well as if you want to add a uh, note or a tag to an item that's great as well in terms of percentages discounts going there helpful as well uh, in terms of discounting the item uh, offers really important right here in terms of seeing the amount of sales to uh, basically where you'd want to price it right so say if we wanted to price at 21.55 we'd see we'd have 17 sales till we get there in terms of matching that lowest price in there we can also see the distribution of fba and fbm sellers which is great on that as well as the total offer count whether amazon's on the listing and we can open up more if need be right there which is great you can see i've looked it up this time don't need much more on uh, that unless actually didn't even know about this feature right here which is great right there and in terms of that's it for the prop calculator side of things in terms of that um, right here, if you want to see the web app quick, we can open it up here. Basically, in aggregation of data in a, in a bigger bigger UI, basically, on that, which is, this is all included. The mobile app, the Chrome extension, the web app, it's all included in that one $17 a month subscription in terms of basic option, right, uh, right there. And then, so lastly, the feature that uh, a lot of you guys don't use that you should be using is the reverse store searching the storefront search feature on that what storefront search is basically we can see so i'm mainly going to open up the fba sellers right here i'm not going to worry about the fbm sellers because it might be drop shipping on all that because your fbm you can be drop shipping that's so if i open up all these fba sellers right here i can go ahead and get a really nice view of their catalog right here and so this is the, my bread and butter within seller is the reverse sourcing feature we can see a seller's review count some people like to only open up sellers with a minimum or a maximum review count. I'm not a fan of that just because I think review count's misleading because it might be that someone's just been selling for five years. So of course they have a ton of reviews, but they maybe are a really competitive seller to us on that. And so the big play with the storefront search is opening up a great value item, a Nike listing, a L'Oreal listing, a brand that you know is being carried by other resellers, and then taking a look at what other items those sellers are selling coming from the storefront search feature and going out and filtering by brand filtering by category something like that and it's important to note that as you if you hit a filter right here and scroll through i'm a fan of always filtering i don't like the idea of just scrolling through with no filter installed pretty much all i'm worried about here is the bsr because a lot of the types of stuff i like to sell clothing and shoes 
it has different variations. It has different colors. It has different sizes and stuff like that. So I'm not really worried about the Cuba chart from the one, which is just that individual variation that that seller's on. I'm not worried about that. I'm focused on the overall listing and digging through the variations. So right here, all I'm worried about is the BSR right here. So I can go ahead and open up a couple of these listings right here. Not even really ever heard of this brand here. And it looks like Amazon's on it. So we'd struggle to compete with them. We can see. Then here the Kipo, we can see they're, they're out of stock sometimes on that. Definitely. Okay. And then using seller ramp, I see, so I want to pay, like we can find this for 18, make a nice little 25% profit on all that right there. Hop in here and take a look at this guy, 45, 45, let's see, nine, let's stay. Okay. That's a different item right there. There, right, and it's it's uh, it should be a long process in terms of finding items. You'll get much better as you go. You'll find different brands you like to carry, and so on and so forth, right here. So we can see the different brands they're carrying, the different categories they're carrying, all these different sellers, and you can see these are tons of items that are being sold by sellers similar to us. So you have so many different SKUs you can go out and look for. There's so much opportunity with this stuff, and the key is that if people are selling these, they're selling these to make money. They have them listed for a reason, right? On that, so you can go out and find more items from these items using the Google search feature on seller app. We can open up this listing right here. It's super cheap. So I'm mainly looking for stuff that's over a $20 price on that. So if we open up, let's find something that's over 20 bucks. Yeah, right here. This, uh, what's chocolate? It's like chocolate fountain type stuff. Oh, caramel on here. Yeah, here we go. So right, $20 one-time purchase right here. So we can find this for like 20 Right here, okay, I think this is actually 64 floral ounce. Oh, 90 point, I was gonna say that totally would have been good on that. Let's see, 90 floral ounce, yeah, 90.4, 30 on Amazon right there. Yeah, so you guys get the idea um, in terms of that right there, 17.5, so that's quite the, oh, this is probably pretty heavy, so the fees are a little higher on that guy. This guy's 800 in stock. It's interesting right there. So. If you're interested in checking out more of Celerant, make sure you go in the link in the description and get a free trial right there. Hope you guys enjoyed. I love using the Google Sheets, Storefront Search, Profit Calculator. If you do an R, you can check out the mobile app as well. It's all included in that one subscription, so you can try it out completely for free at the link in the description. Have a great day. Love you guys. Thanks a lot.